Dandy gang, what's going on guys? Uh, I got a funeral to attend tomorrow, so my energy in today's video uh, might not be thrilling, but I hope you enjoy it. We're back on the Delaware Upper West Branch. We got a little bit left here of 2023, and before this year ends, I want to find a two-foot trout. The Upper West Branch of the Delaware, pretty good place to do it. If you guys are new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoy today's video. If you want to check out my flies, everything I use in today's video, or my previous videos, any of those patterns, they're all available on the website, ddflies.com. Go check it out. Everything you guys buy in there supports channel at the same time. As always, down in the description of the video are my social media links, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Go throw me a follow on those. They stay up to date on a daily basis. I'll go ahead, switch cameras. I'll show you guys the flies we're gonna be using today. We're pretty much just gonna hop in the water. It's cloudy right now. Unfortunately, the sun is gonna make an appearance today. Unfortunately, when that happens, the bite probably is gonna take a little bit of a dip. But maybe we'll get some trout right now. Maybe we'll get some trout later in the evening. And maybe we'll find that two footer. Let's get fishing. So this is what we're using today. We got our WBT stone flies, obviously. Got one river soldier, figured I'd bring one along. But you know the drill, we got our orange crush, we got basic bugs, and we got these new jig style, kind of Frenchy style things. I don't know what I'm gonna call them. I got some caddis jigs too, but they're a 16, but really they're closer to an 18. I feel like those might be the ticket today. All right guys, talk about just an unreal looking spot. The flows are perfect to hit this today. So we're starting higher up in the system today, and we're gonna fish our way downstream. We got a WBT stonefly and a DFW. Underrated, size 16. Simple, effective. So we're gonna get into this riff. We're gonna see if we can get one right off the bat. Have not been to the Delaware in a while. First cast, going in. Oh, thought we had one. Let's get a little higher up in there so by the time it comes down through the riff, it's on the bottom. Getting too far down, try a little bit more over in the faster stuff. Under those tree branches. Yep, fish. Yep, whoa, oh, nice brown. Nice brown, nice brown, nice brown. Really nice, really nice. It took the DFW, DFW in the size 16. Wow guys, been fishing for five minutes today. Was that our 10th cast? Really nice brown, mid to upper teens. At least it's growing, look at that fish. Oh yeah, big brown, big brown, big brown. This is why we come back to the Delaware. Oh my gosh, my mono's on my finger. On the DFW, guys, I don't really like use this in a lot of my videos. Wow, stellar brown, but this fly is amazing. It's a variation of a waltz worm and it just has the right colors. It works well in the summertime when you have sulfurs in the mix and just kind of some light colored bugs. That is a stellar trout. All of 15, 16. I'm surprised it's still on after those jumps. Come on, dude, come back. No, 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 no. Stupid Delaware trout have so much power. These things never give up. It's right in the corner, come on. Got him. Tank. I mean, that's as good as you get to start the day. 
beauty. Freaking awesome trout. Man, I love this game. Man, I love trout fishing. Man, I love trout fishing in the Delaware. Yes! Oh my god. Look at that, right in the corner. DFW. Alright guys, five minutes into the day. A beautiful brown trout on the DFW. Nice. And he's going back nice and calm. He's not going to spook anything else in there. Let's see what else we can get. Guys, I just hooked a giant. Wasn't on camera. Huge fish. I mean massive. This is easily the biggest fish I've ever even hooked in my entire life. A freaking colossal. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose this trout. This is the biggest, most enormous trout I've ever seen. I got to get him on the reel. He's gonna go in the bushes. We're gonna lose this fish. Six, six, seven pounder. No, 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 no. We're gonna lose this fish. Come on, Tippet. Give me everything you have. Give me everything you have, Tippet. Oh my God, huge one. Like it might be two feet. Oh my God, it came off, yep. Uh, it's the biggest one ever. Uh, it's the biggest one ever, biggest one ever. Uh, uh, God. Uh, I mean, had to be. Uh. I cannot believe what just happened. By the way, it broke me off right near the tippet ring, a couple inches down. So there's definitely some logs and some junk that's in this little riff over along the bank. He must have got us around something. I mean, I was surprised we even had enough power with the tippet to even get him out of the out of the brush initially. But you can see the logs and stuff going in there. It's just game over. I don't even know if 4X would have saved us. It was just too large of a fish. Ah, oh boy. But you know what? You gotta be thankful. There's, oh my God, a huge one. Huge one, huge one, huge one, huge one, huge one. Oh, that was a big one too. I'm not, I don't think the camera picked that up. I can see it with my own eyes because I'm here. And I could see the color down underneath. That was a freaking giant too. Oh, that was a giant too. I mean, that was all of 20 as well. Will I get another chance? Nope, didn't take it that time. Man, they're so selective. You gotta get the drift just right. Oh my God, what a day so far. What a, I mean, what, this is nuts. Just got tapped. I set the hook like I mean it from now on. Problem is, if we hook another absolute stud, like, how are we gonna land him? I just don't know. Yeah, oh my god! Big one, right up in the riffle. Did you see him? It was like the first one, 15, 16. I wonder if they're eating this basic bug. Ever since I've switched, we're getting a lot more hits. That's two big fish in about five minutes. That's two big fish in like five minutes. I don't know how deep it is, so I'm kind of going shallow with the first drift. Oh my god, look at that nice trout. 14, 15 inches, came right off the bushes, had him. I just totally was not expecting a fish, so I like just kind of lifted on him, didn't set the hook. All right guys, so back to Nymphin, another trout. Not a slammer, but a nice one, and I don't think it took the new fly. No, it did not. It took the unbeatable fly, WBT Stonefly. We'll take that though. Nice little brown trout. Cool. So I usually cross and I fish from the other side. I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's possible today. 
Might be too deep. All right, guys. Looks like I got a little rainbow trout. Very small fish, maybe a nine incher, but the sun just, I mean, the sun literally just went behind the trees. So while that sun was out in full force, the bite was just so dead. I didn't even film a lot, but we'll take that little rainbow. Got me all tangled. That's all right. Took the WBT stone fly. Man, he kind of messed it up. The good thing about these, you can kind of work with them for a while. I mean, you can catch dozens of fish on one fly. So if you buy some of these off the website, as long as you don't get them snagged, just use your fingers, kind of redo it, and they're good to go. These are available on the website. If you like the look of these, they're available in a couple different colors. So pick one of these up if you like the look of it. Go to this next spot, hopefully catch a two foot trout. Fish. I think it's a, oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Good fish. Looks like a big rainbow trout. Have to get it on the real quick. Okay. Well, at least in this area, <laughs> we have some space. You know, we can just take our time with the fish. Man, that other spot, I was so nervous as soon as I hooked that giant. This is a big fish, guys. It looks like a really nice rainbow, like in the mid-teens. It's right here. What are you? Looks kind of dark in color. Looks like it was about 15 inches. I think it's a rainbow trout. Strong. Shoot, it's about to go on a run. I can feel it. Don't do it. No, it's a brownie. It's a brownie. That's a brownie. Looks like he might have took the stone fly and I got him wrapped in the other fly. Something looks weird. He's kind of fighting vertically. It's a nice brown trout. Super nice fish. Yeah, he's fighting all weird. Eh, I don't know. Took the stone fly. Got him. Really nice. No, he wasn't wrapped or anything. He just like swimming downward, I guess. Really nice trout. Come on, dude. I'm trying to put you back. Bigger than I thought. Shoot, you're bigger than I thought. Can't pick you up. Cooperate. Yeah, guys, that's actually a really nice trout. All right, that works. I was trying to get you guys underwater release, but... Wow, that was actually a nice one. 15. Probably somewhere around there. Who cares? Nice brown trout. We're going to get back in here. I mean, there has got to be a two-footer somewhere in here. Still no risers, though. That's a problem. Like, this whole calm spot on the inside of this current seam should be, you know, freaking boiling with trout. Still lacking bugs, so we're going streamer. River Soldier and Rusty Brown. We're gonna kinda strip it with the current here. If we hook one at this point, it's probably gonna be a pretty solid fish. Oh, missed it, missed my fly. It missed it. Freaking giant too. That's gotta be on camera. I wasn't looking. I just saw the head. It missed it. Shoot, that thing moved a lot of water. 17, 18 inches. Let's see if we can get him here. Alrighty guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'm still losing sleep over that fish. I wish I could have at least shown you a little bit better footage of it. Uh, it was unbelievable. I truly, truly thought it was a carp until I'm like, wait, you're on the Delaware. Like that's, that's a brown trout. So uh, I picked up a spool of 4X tippet. There's a rainy day in the forecast. I'm going back to the Delaware. It's actually tomorrow. Now, as I'm editing this video, this is not Thursday, but I'm going back tomorrow. There's another Delaware video coming here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you get notified when that video comes up. And in addition to these weekly videos on Thursdays is a live stream on Fridays, 9 to 10 p.m. So that's something you guys can consider checking out. Go over some river conditions, ask questions in real time, uh, whatever you're looking to get out of that. I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.